Ron Anderson here with another episode of Fit Science for you. And today we're gonna to be talking about real changes and sustainable changes. So if you guys aren't getting the results you want, this is the episode you want to listen to. All right, so we're gonna get started. So we're gonna go through this as quickly as we can. And as always with all of my videos, if you guys have questions or comments, you can comment below, you can DM me. I'm always available for you guys. So these are the five steps that I quantify for making real changes. Now this can be for your fitness, this can be for your health, this can be nutrition, this can be for your business life, whatever. These are five things you should do for real changes. So number one is quantify where you are now. This is our why. And why I say quantify is everything that you do has to be measurable. If you can't measure it, you can't change it. There's nothing, there's no start point, there's no end point. You actually have to have some form of quantification to know where you are now, to know how to get where you want to go. And trust me, we'll hit on this a lot more in other episodes. Second point here is quantify where you want to be. So kind of what I was just touching on, that's the where. Where is it that you want to go? Step number one, we quantify where you are now. You have to find your baseline. There's no point starting a race if you don't know where you're starting, and right here, you don't know where you're going. So that would be step number two. And again, it could be losing weight, not good enough. How much weight do you wanna lose? I have so many clients come to me and say, hey Ron, I wanna lose weight. All right, great, is that five pounds, is it 50 pounds, is it 15 pounds? I have to know what that number is so that I can go against number one, where you are now, your why, and then go to number two is where you wanna be. Okay, and that could be for any goal. It has to be measurable. So number one, you have to quantify it to know where you are now and where you want to be. All right, step number three, quantify what you have to do to get from one to two, or A to B, X, Y, doesn't matter what it is. Whatever it is, you wanna be able to figure out how to go from here to here. So if you do steps number one and two properly, it makes number three a little bit easier, especially for experts like me. Once we know where you are now and we know where you wanna be, we build blocks to get you to where you wanna be. So if you're working with a trainer, nutritionist, doctor, it doesn't matter where it is, they will walk you through these steps. It doesn't matter if you have an ailment, you have a broken arm, whatever it is. If you ever had something like that, which pretty much all of us have, you know what these steps are. You've already dealt with them in your life. So when it comes to your goals and your aspirations, make sure you're not selling yourself short. You wanna take the same, the same steps that professionals like me take to get you where you wanna be. Now, number three is very, very important because this is gonna tell you what it is you're gonna to have to do from get from here to there. Now, this may seem daunting. There's a lot of people that say, hey, I've been trying to lose the same 20 pounds for five years. Or, you know, I'm an athlete and I just can't go a little bit faster. You know, what am I doing wrong? Well, this is where kind of your expertise and the help comes in. There's a tons of videos on YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook, all social media that are gonna give you ideas for this. Now, that's great. We're all experts, not all of us, some of us are experts, but a lot of us experts out there, we're trying to get to you guys and really give you guys the information you need. But the difference between people that are just online just saying they know what they're talking about versus people that actually do is they're going to always tell you what they're explaining to you is different for everyone. That's different from an expert to just your general fitness, nutrition, health practitioner. Everything I tell you guys is equitable, but it may not all be just for you. So take everything even I see as an expert with a grain of salt because these general guidelines are going to help the, the 35, 40%, but you can tailor it to your specific needs too, and then it will work. Just remember that, take one thing with a grain of salt, because it will work if you make it so it pertains to you, your goals, your aspirations specifically. All right, point number four here, make a periodization action plan. And if you don't know what periodization is, a lot of people don't, don't feel bad about that. Periodization is simply you're doing building blocks to get you from basically point A to point B or one to two. So what I mean by that is, and I'm gonna use a fitness approach with this, I have a lot of people come to me and say, I wanna to tone. I hear toning all the time. What toning actually means is that you wanna build lean muscle and then you wanna be able to see it, which means you wanna burn off fat. So a small example of periodization is that if you want to do that, what I tell a lot of my clients is that when you're heavier, if you're trying to lose weight in this example, when you're heavier or starting your journey, you want to periodize or focus on building the lean muscle first. It's always easier to build lean muscle when you're bigger. I'm just telling you, this is how your body works. 
you have a surplus of calories, it makes it easier to build muscle and to nourish it. You do that first. That is very hard for a lot of my clients that want to tone to, to get around because they immediately want to lose weight and tone. Here's the thing, if you build the muscle first, when you burn the fat, you'll be able to see it. If you don't build the muscle first and you start losing the fat, it's very hard to do that. You can't do one and the other at the same time. Now, I'm gonna asterisk saying that because you can, but it takes significantly longer because you're, you're fighting yourself. If you're building muscle, you're going to put on weight. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're building muscle, you will put on weight. That's not a bad thing, but you can't do that and lose weight at the same time. They're counterintuitive. So make sure you're working with an expert when it comes to that. We can explain that to you and it's okay. All right, step number five on this is implement consistently. So this chart here, all five of these steps are something you have to be constantly implementing. Now, the reason for that, and I know everyone wants immediate results, it's not going to happen. It takes time. And a lot of people, they like to talk to me and compare me, hey Ron, you're doing this, and this is great, you've done this, this is great. I've been doing this my entire life. I've studied it, I have two master's degrees, I've been putting it into practice for almost 20 years, and I still don't know what I'm talking about fully because everything's constantly changing. So we're constantly studying, constantly researching, and I've been working with tens of thousands of people over almost 20 years, so that's helped me with the knowledge base to help you guys. But the number one thing when it comes to me helping you and anyone else is you have to be consistent. No matter what it is I give you, if it's do this to lose weight, if it's eat this to lose weight, if it's do this to build muscle, it doesn't matter if you do it once. My favorite thing my clients always like to tell me is, hey, I ate a great meal today. That's great for today, <laughs> that's the starting point. It's something you have to do consistently. What I'd rather hear is, hey, I ate well the last week. I ate well the last month. I've been on my diet for the last nine weeks. That is how you're gonna see results. People don't realize how big those little setbacks do. You have a cheat week and it can set you back a week, two weeks, three weeks, and people, I know that's very, very hard to grasp, but it's very true. Gotta be consistent. So, now that you know what it takes to have real changes, you might go into five, my why, my where, my what, my how, and my when, we're gonna go over here to how to make it last. Because that's what you guys are really looking for. It's not really just having those changes, it's making them stick. A lot of people out there have yo-yo, gained 20 pounds, lost 20 pounds, gained 30 pounds, lost 30 pounds. We've seen it, a lot of people go through it, it's because they're not implementing these here. All right. Number one here, the cycle repeats. So like I said, this five step cycle over here to real changes is constantly repeating. And it must be, again, consistently done. Second point is the cycle changes every time. And that's what I was just saying, the cycle constantly changes. If you're 200 pounds and you're trying to lose weight, it's different than if you're 180 pounds and you're trying to lose weight. You have to change your goals and the structure that you're putting into your plan to constantly keep changing. For example, if you're eating 4,000 calories a day at the weight you are right now, and now you've lost 50 pounds, and you wanna keep losing weight, you can no longer eat 4,000 calories a day. I know it's one of those hard things to grasp, but you have to change your caloric intake, your exercise, everything, to how you're changing. And that's very hard for people, because it's experts that have to come in and typically help you when you get there. We're creatures of habit, it happens. We're here to help, comment if you need it. All right, next thing, there is no one shoe fits all. And I said this in the beginning, the difference between people that say they're experts online versus actual experts like myself is we'll always tell you what we're saying doesn't fit everyone. Trust me, even when it comes to weight loss, calories in, calories out is not the end all be all. And I know it's so hard for people to grasp, but it's not. There's food allergies, there's food sensitivities, there's different hormones, there's being carb sensitive versus not carb sensitive. There's so many different things that we'll talk about in future episodes that will explain this a little bit better. All right, next thing, it must be measurable. And I know I've said this before and I'm beating a dead horse on this. You have to be able to measure it. If you wanna lose weight, if not you wanna lose weight, it's you wanna lose X. I wanna lose five pounds, I wanna lose 10 pounds, I wanna run faster, what's faster me? I wanna be able to do a 100 meter run and be able to take 0.1 second off my time. That we can work with. If you're talking to an expert in any field, fitness, nutrition, diet, exercise, um, if you have some kind of ailment, it doesn't matter, broken like anything, you have to have measurable, measurable results. The only way we can help you as experts. 
Next thing, it must be adaptable. This is the biggest thing for everyone out there. Anything you're doing, any expert you're listening to, friend's advice, whatever it is, it has to be adaptable to you. My biggest thing I keep saying, no matter what information you read, you have to know it may not always work for you. What we do, believe it or not, it's a lot of trial and error. I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, and it's so much trial and error. No two clients are the same, and you have to adapt what we do and what you know and what you see to your body specifically for it to work. Yes, there are times you may take some of our advice and it may fail. That's okay. That's how you learn. Take what you learn and use it so that you can better the next time around. All right, last thing, and I was just sitting on this, it must conform to you. It is you at the end of the day that we are trying to help. And yes, take all the information that we have, all the knowledge, all the know-how that we do, that we struggle with, that we research and that we spend our time doing day in and day out to help you specifically. But if you can't do this on your own, and I can't say that you can't, but a lot of people need help. Don't be afraid to ask. We're here to help, we're the experts, and we would love to help you get to where you wanna be. Now, just a little recap here, Real changes over here, the why, where, what, how, and when, and then over here, our last and results. Put this into practice. I will see you guys soon. Happy training.